Here I'm tying a scruffy, yeah, green collar, it's a pattern that yeah, Dave Albert uses, guy for a fishing page. Uh, hook I'm tying it on, it's a Hens BL120, uh, barbless with a 3.2 uh, gold tungsten bead slotted. Uh, thread I'm using is a uni thread, it's a 8 and 0. So all I've done. Uh, I normally just start with sort of just put a few wrap run just to kind of hold the just to hold the bead in place. Excess. You know, just I normally take my thread and it just kind of where it starts to bend on the the hook shank. Uh, for the tail, I'm using uh, Cock de de Leon feathers. These are these are a bit better than the they don't snap as none was brittle. Maybe about half a dozen, a dozen here. I'll just kind of. I'm not happy with them. I just usually tie them on, but no, I'll just grab them. It's just to pull them to whatever. Well, I am if you want them. I should do there. And just tie them in. And we trim it. Way back up the body. Yeah, for the rib, I'm using it's an ultra wire gold. Just for the rib. What I'm gonna do is take the rib and tie it. Just put it into the slot of the bead, and then just. Wraps didn't need any that. I'll take a it's just like a kind of wax that I'll put on the, the thread just to make it a bit sticky because we use this uh, for the dubbing, it's a fox squirrel. So you put that on it, it just kind of you don't need to roll like with the, the rope effect as much. When it means is it gives it that kind of the the buggy, it's like more of a buggy effect. Uh, I think with the the more buggy it, it it fishes a bit better. Certainly from my experience, anyway. Just start off kind of thin, just work it into the body. Actually, just wrap tie it off. Yeah, I'll take the, the rub. Just gonna work my way around. Just to protect the body a bit better. And then I'll just tie the... Tie the wire in. And then I'll just kind of... Pings off. Uh, pardon me for the collar. Cluster dubbing. I use it. I use the the kind of the green collar for it. But I mean, people you can tie this in any color for the the collar. Uh, just whatever you prefer and what works on the day. But put it on, and then you can. Whatever you don't use, you can take back off. You don't need much much of collar. I oh, certainly do. Something good. Yeah. 
and I'll just wet finish it. My flies always always do a double wet finish. Just especially if you're using it for a point, because if it's it can take a bit of a beating. And just pull it and tie it and I'll just just uh, cut it off and then I'll, I usually take a wee bit of clear varnish and just put it on where, I, where it's what finished just to give it a wee bit more protection should be fine and then you can just take your velcro and you just get a wee brush and it kind of pulls all the the fibres and then what you can do is just one that's a bit long you can just cut off a wee bit in the in the water these look great seem to get a bit of water on them and stuff they look superb No, it's you. Not the prettiest at time, but they certainly work, so that's it there. The scruffy. With just a wee green collar. It's been working really well for me lately, so. Hope you're enjoying. Hope it catches you. Lots and lots of fish. Tight lines.